His arrogance is legendary. Some might call him the absolute personification of vanity. The man I'm here to talk about today has truly taken the world by storm. With a little help from a small loan of a million dollars and a slogan to bring tears of pride to the eyes of any Tea Party Republican. He's proposing to make America great again. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Donald Trump. For those few lucky enough to be in blissful ignorance of Trump's existence until this point, he's the billionaire real estate tycoon turned reality TV star who publicly delights in his own achievements so often. He makes Kim Kardashian look like Gandhi. Did I mention he's currently running for US president and winning? So why are so many Americans likely to vote Trump in the 2016 ballot? Is it the swirling, unnatural white wisp, caressing his yellow scalp, possessing perplexing anti-gravitational properties that he has the audacity to call a hairstyle? Or is it his orange glowing complexion? No. Appearance aside, it's true that Trump offers quick and easy advice to daunting situations, whether it be foreign policy, immigration, or global warming. Trump's verdict on global warming being, it's freezing in New York, we need global warming, or ISIS, let's just bomb them. And let's not forget Trump's ingenious plan to stop America's immigration problem. He proposes to build a literal wall around Mexico and then make Mexico pay for that wall. Perhaps the reason I dislike Trump the most is his blatant sexism. He's been known to refer to women as dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. He further bashes women in the workplace by saying the women that won his TV show, The Apprentice, got by solely on their sex appeal. Recently, Trump tweeted, if Hillary Clinton can't satisfy her own husband, what makes her think she can satisfy America? So as you can see, Trump is a very, very classy man. Clearly, there are many reasons to dislike him. So it can be hard to understand why otherwise seemingly intelligent and perfectly good people vote for him. The answer is that he appeals to those who react well to this kind of authoritarian rhetoric. It's true that history and psychology have taught us that strong leadership can be dangerously charismatic, and believe me, Trump is no exception. So I suppose why I'm really here today is to beg you not to be fooled by this sexist yet utterly powerful rhetoric. Does Trump remind you of anyone else in history? A man with an equally as interesting and questionable hairstyle and following so large, so infatuated with his views that they could actually end up supporting the atrocities he committed. Hitler. <laughs> 